Hey guys, it's Brian here, and welcome to episode 62 of our Liverpool Career Mode series. In today's episode, we have two games for you, which is a little bit shorter than usual. The reason for this is, unfortunately, I lost the second game of the episode, which was against Stoke City. I will tell you, though, that we won that game in a 4-2 win against Stoke, which was good for us because we are fighting for those Champions League spots right now. So yeah, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter, but next episode we'll have three games for uh, the end of the season, as those will be the last three games on our schedule. And uh, after that, we'll look ahead to moving towards what we're going to do for the future. In this episode, though, we'll focus on mainly our games, and the one we have here is a very important one for us. We're playing against Manchester United. They're a little bit higher up in the table, but still a very important game for us, as uh, this is a team that it, it is very much a six-point game, even though we might not be able to catch up to them. Getting the three points out of this one is very important, and as many of you might have noticed, we put ourselves into a position right now where we are still fighting for those Champions League spots, but it's getting a lot tighter. It's getting a lot harder to... Uh, actually believe that we're going to get those spots and we want to make sure too that we're not going to be fired from our position which is uh, definitely something we don't want to happen as you can see here unfortunately they get the early goal 16th minute Danny Will back there with a nice one for Manchester United and it was a case that we let him by and unfortunately weren't able to keep up with him as Daniel Agar does not have the pace to keep up with a player such as him but we keep trying to get back in this one here trying to get our uh, hand into the score sheet as uh, there's a chance for Lewis Holpe there, a save by Manchester United though, and one more here as Edison Cavani takes the shot, not able to put it away. And as this game's going on too, I want to talk about the two players that I am now leaning more and more towards actually selling, and those being Cavani and Carrillo. They both have very high price tags on them, but I feel like they have not really lived up to their potential. Cavani had a really great start to the season, but he has been oft injured and it has been very hard to have that consistency in our lineup. Suarez has been fantastic in the striking role, and uh, I feel like it's nine, well, now time to really accept the fact that this is the guy that we want to be uh, playing there, and yes, there will be opportunities that we will uh, give other players a chance there, but he needs to be the guy that scores the goal for us. He's scored so many this season. That is really the main thing I'm looking at going into the offseason here. And uh, yeah, this game not going that great as they get another goal there. We try and get one here that deflects nearly. But I think the big goals that we need to focus on here is that we, we already have a great striker there. We already have pretty great wingers. Maybe bringing another winger that is of the caliber of Carrillo is a smart thing to do. But also just bringing in possibly another great midfielder that is uh, you know going to be able to fill the shoes potentially of a player like Steven Gerrard that's likely going to retire at the end of the season. These are the moves that we might need to make to really solidify the team going into next season. We've already got a great squad in a lot of ways, and I want to make sure that we're really primed and ready for what might be our last season, if not our second to last season. We get the goal there, though, in the 88th minute or 89th minute to get us close in this game. But unfortunately, in the final minutes, we were really trying to press it on, not able to do so, and uh, that leads to a loss for us here, which in a lot of ways, I have to say, might seal our fate at uh, getting into those Champions League spots, which does leave me worried for where we're going to be going into next season and um, at the same time to what our uh, board's going to say to us as well because we talk about the fact that we need to get the treble really to keep them happy and uh, that hasn't done the trick thus far. But yeah, we move on from here. We win the game against uh, Stoke City there, which does help us out a little bit. And we're in the fight. We're close. We're not out of it yet. But we're going to need a strong finish here and a little bit of luck from the other teams in order to be able to get one of those Champions League spots now. The other thing I wanted to ask you guys as well this episode, I was interested in hearing what you're interested in most out of me in regards to uh, FIFA content on the channel. So I do the Liverpool series right now, but I'm interested in doing possibly other stuff in the uh, anticipation for FIFA 13. And I also want to hear what you'd be most interested in seeing out of me for FIFA 14 as well. Because I plan to do a career mode series for FIFA 14, but... I want to hear what you guys are most excited of when you watch videos on uh, YouTube and what you'd be excited to hear me do uh, in the future for FIFA content. But yeah, I'm just saying in regards to uh, keeping you guys happy because I do other stuff on the channel too, but I also want to uh, keep you guys who are just interested in FIFA, interested in what i got going on, and also uh, mix it up too because we do quite a bit of Liverpool. But that said, we move on to this game here against West Bromwich Albion. And uh, as I said, we beat Stoke City, had a good game against them, and this is a very important game for us here. An early chance for Wood that he was completely unmarked in the box there. Could have been terrible. Luckily for us, no goal against us there. And um, really West Bromwich, we're getting some good chances on here. Wood with another chance. He cuts back in. Gets a great opportunity there. And luckily, uh, Leno is able to get the ball there. And that leads to us finally getting a goal as Suarez back in his striking role. As you can see, when Suarez is playing there, we score goals. And uh, yeah, we were 
a little bit against it early on. We get the goal there to kind of give us a little bit more space and a little bit more comfort in this one. And we go into the second half with a 1 0 lead. And, uh, you know, it, it's tight. I'm really scoreboard watching now. You can see Manchester City now losing in that game. And uh, it's it just those games that we had against those big teams. Maybe if we would have just won one of them, it could have uh, changed the dials a little bit for us here. But we're really going to have to be scoreboard watching now to make sure that we're on top of it, or at least getting our chances and uh, still in the fight here. But Danny Pacheco, 48th minute, scores an absolute nice one there as he's able to curl that one into the corner for a little bit of a finesse shot. And. Um, that kind of sets up the second half for us here. Gives us the opportunity to be very calm. Know that we have the uh, really good chance of winning this game. And there's another chance there. We try and scoop it over to Sterling. Not able to go. Danny Pacheco feeds it up to Holtby here though. He's got a chance. Takes a shot. And uh, a bit of a gaff there by Foster. And we get the 3-0 lead in this game. And uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this one. As we're able to get the win out of this. There is a potential penalty there. Not going to go. We get a couple other chances. But nothing too big. Trying to really, you know, also pad the goal differentials. That's pretty important to us right now as well. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how this episode is going to end, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the shorter episode again, but I wanted to get one out for sure so you guys could uh, have some FIFA content as I'm working quite a bit in the next week or so. But be sure to uh, stay tuned to my channels. I'll have episode 63 up soon as we kind of see the results of what is this season. And we'll move on, start planning, start deliberating for season four and uh, the future of the Liverpool series as well. Thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll see you around in the future. Cheers. Aston Villa 1, Arsenal 1, Fulham 2, Blackburn Rovers 1, Liverpool 3, West Bromwich Albion 0, Manchester United 0, Manchester City 1, Stoke City 2, Chelsea 1, Swansea City 2, Cardiff City 2, Wigan Athletic 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1, so what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Manchester City with 81 points. In second, Chelsea with 76 points. In third, Manchester United with 70 points. In fourth, Tottenham Hotspur with 65 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Arsenal with 65 points, but only behind on goal difference. In sixth, Liverpool with 65 points, but only behind on goal difference. In 7th, Newcastle United with 63 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In 8th, Southampton with 52 points. Bottom of the table, Cardiff City with 15 points. And then reading up the table, 2nd bottom, Swansea City with 22 points. 3rd bottom, Wolverhampton Wanderers with 23 points, with a game in hand on the team above. 4th bottom, Blackburn Rovers with 25 points. Fifth bottom, Wigan Athletic with 33 points, but only behind on goal difference.